All I right. am well rested. I didn't stay up all night working on my car. I said, screw it. I'll see if my $200 gets me in early. And what happened when you yeah, saw Patrick uh, Long? Man. Not many people get to meet their God. <laughs> he, he was Dwayne basically like... is face to face from the deity. He is there in front of the holiness <laughs> of holies. It may as well be the Pope. It is the prophet <laughs> himself with all his orange curliness is mm -hmm. before you yeah, just feet true. away within hands. He extended his, his hand with the Did ring. Did it glow? And welcome, everyone, back to another edition of Dur or Die, the Porsche podcast that we shoot right here in the Container Park in downtown Las Vegas. My name is John Pollock. I'm your host, along with my partner, Dwayne Wick. How are you, Dwayne Wick? Greetings, JP. I am very well. Thank you for asking. You're doing much better now. I am. Yes. Post Loof, uh, you know, like I said before, it was a little bit of a little bit of a letdown, but ultimately, first world problem. I was at an amazing car show and. No reason not to be happy. For those of you who didn't tune into the last couple of episodes, uh, Dwayne, uh, his 911, beautiful 911 that he has spent a lot of time building and working on, uh, broke down because he failed to avoid mm -hmm. a rock. He needed jumper cables. On so. the uh, Angela's <laughs> Crest. And uh, even though his car was accepted at Luft Cult, uh, mm. He was not able to cross the finish line. Nope. Uh, wasn't able to finish the job. Uh, what is is that? What's the word? Impotent? Uh, is that <laughs> yeah, what we're looking that's for? That's exactly yeah, the word. You needed a blue pill right. in order to get that. Uh, in, in order to kind of get that car into yeah. the show. How many? Uh, how many of to... your Porsches are running right now? While you? Yeah. Uh, well, I got one out of three working myself. So I'm with that. It. Yeah, uh, you know. Yeah, but I'm not out there say, like giving everyone else a hard time because their cars don't work. You're literally sitting behind a microphone giving everyone a hard time. No, that's I'm only the, giving him the, a hard time. That's the because he gives us a hard show. time about not going. All right. How's it going, everybody? Uh, Dwayne, yes, so sir. your car yeah. didn't make it into Luft Cult, even though no, it was no. accepted. My car was Luft rejected. Mm -hmm. uh, those of you who are fans of the show, I know there's like three of you, uh, may have watched previous episodes where uh, we had a big debate as to whether or not it matters if you're uh, accepted, not accepted. Patrick Long, uh, the founder of Luft Cult, the famous... Uh, actor from ER. <laughs> That's not the case. No, uh, not not to be They're confused friends, with though. Patrick friends Dempsey, with, yeah. who was on Grey's Anatomy, not ER. Mm -hmm. See, that's the whole thing. Uh, our friend Redu, do you know Redu? I do. Yeah, yeah, Redu and I. So uh, on the thumbnail of a couple of our episodes back, uh, the whole thing where you were like, you're I, look. Let's face it, you're a sycophant. You're you're a kiss ass when it comes to Absolutely. Patrick Long. Yep. You are right He's up. He's an there. important guy. I'm trying to get into you're that right show. Up there. I'll be in there one day. How's his colon these days? <laughs> Swollen or is it peanut size? Anyways, no comment. Uh, so I, I look, those two guys clearly get mistaken for one another all the time. So it's tough having the same first name, you know, and they're, they're both associated with Porsche. And let's face it. Famous people are very narcissistic people. But generally, no. gen oh, what do you mean? If you went up to <laughs> Steve, it's uh, not that they're narcissistic. if you went up How to Steve Carell, no, hold on. Okay. If you went up to Steve Carell and said, Hey, I really like your late night TV show. He'd be like, uh, that's the other Steve. What's, what's the other Steve mental Colbert. Steve Colbert, right? Yeah. They, they would, they'd be like that. Or it's like you went to Charlie Sheen. They're like, oh, Wouldn't man, I, I, I don't know if you mistake him for Emilio Estevez, they're going to flip you off and, with and they're going to flip the table nah. over. Look, I, I can tell you firsthand so stories. OK, I, I'm not. <laughs> All right. Yes. Luft. Uh, so Patrick let's talk about Long, the morning of. Well, that's what I'm getting at okay. is that Patrick Long, your hero, your God, your idol, the person <laughs> you bow down to, the person you. He's a good race car driver. The guy. Lamont, who you, 24 hours who Lamont. you basically said F you to all your friends, <laughs> all the people who you used to agree with, all yeah. the people that you used to be. Uh, I, I cashed it all in. You for cashed one it all in and said, Patrick oh, Patrick Long, Long likes me now. <laughs> what did Patrick Long have to say when you showed up 
to Luftkult <laughs> and your car was broken down. No, well, here's... Why don't you tell us what happened? <laughs> yeah, so there was a line that early early access line, by the way, not yep. just the regular line, the early act, the pe people who paid more um, stretched around the block, the but literal wait, did, How much did it cost? So if your car was accepted to Luftkult, yeah. How, so you had to pay ten dollars to be considered. Two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. <laughs> so it's ten dollars to be considered, and then once they accept you, you have to pay an additional two hundred dollars right. for your card. It's, it's kind I of a scam. It's kind of a scam. Mental, did you know it was two hundred dollars, including the application fee? It's two ten. No clue. <laughs> two ten. At Vegas Auto Fest for two hundred dollars, <laughs> for less than two hundred dollars, you can get top of the rock where you can eat. Like Look, as much this, shrimp as you want this show, and food and drink you've got all day. Executives from Porsche. You've got famous, uh, you know, people within our micro More community. Lose, but you like to kiss. <laughs> Just cool people that you want to like, you know, be a part of. All right. So your car was accepted. You, hey, you, I would say this. So, you know, another good free show that they could come see. Yeah. The uh, the creators event. Right. Good time to plug the yeah. creators event for uh, during SEMA this year. I I got rid of the I don't even know where the picture is anymore. It was a cool picture. Uh, there's oh, a cool there picture uh, taken by our good friend uh, photographer Lee, Lee Patet. Oh, Lee's Lee's the best. Uh, we got the photo up there. SEMA week, uh, November first. If you are coming to Las Vegas for the SEMA show, one of the biggest car shows of the year anywhere in the world. Yeah. I think it's the biggest car show. It is. It's ginormous. It I is. mean, it's thousands, hundreds of thousands of square feet of eye candy, lights, Very little wheels. of it is devoted to Porsche, though. True. But you know, usually... you've got an entire pavilion that's like all Jeeps and Broncos, basically, at this point. Yes, and then but a bunch I mean, of other Jeeps American and Broncos cars. are cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's true. Okay. CSF, we'll uh, the radiator company, had their, their custom built, which actually that car was at Luft as well, mm. but... They had their car in SEMA last year or the year yeah. before, but yeah. I mean, there's a couple notable Porsches that make it in. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah, sure. you know, Magnus Walker usually comes. There's usually a handful of really cool Porsches there. Yeah. Always singers and Gunther works and stuff like that. True. But okay. So if you're coming to SEMA, uh, the first night of SEMA, November 1st, we're going to have a big, huge uh, SEMA creator party. A lot of podcasters, mm -hmm. a lot of show stars are going to be here. Uh, the star of uh, 900 series. Uh, of course, the star of uh, the Rami show, Rami Mirza, we're going to be here. Uh, of course, Dwayne and I from, uh, I mean, Durr or die podcast. Everyone's yeah, going to want to come and see that. Really? Come, the big draw really. is uh, lane from DWA driving. Well, awesome. Yeah, a bunch of great awesome. creators going to be here. We have mm -hmm. a really cool selection of cars. that are going to be placed around the park uh, here in the beautiful downtown Las Vegas mm -hmm. container. You'll park. get to see the, uh, the thing, the, the, the praying, praying mantis, mantis that, that blows flames. Yeah. yeah. It's real. We're not making that up. Yeah. Live music, uh, drinks. If you're part of our uh, group, uh, we have drinks and food up here in the studio. Uh, and then there's three or four restaurants in the park and, and bars and stuff like that. It's going to be a great time. Yeah. Uh, put it on your calendar. It's free. Uh, you don't have to pay to get in. Uh, it's just going to be a great time. You don't have to walk around. Yeah. You just get to sit and have a beer. Yeah. Take like, an Uber from your hotel. You'll be walking for the day. Yeah. You're going to yeah. be. It's a good point. And then uh, take an Uber, come down here to the park, hang out at the show, and then go check out the Fremont Street experience. Uh, you're going to have a great time. Yeah. Uh, okay. So back to Luftkult. So, yes. Um, you're God forsaken. You. <laughs> you show up. Oh, you've man. paid the $210. What's that Metallica song? Uh, the you forsaken. are the unforgiven. Yeah, you show yeah. up to the gate, and there is the orange hair god himself. Yes. So here, here's my plan, JP. Okay. I'm like, I ain't let me know wait, what's going I on. I ain't waiting in this line. I'm a feature car. You paid two hundred dollars. Two hundred ten dollars, baby. Where do I go to get in and hang out with my people? You know, all the people, the cool people of the car show that are inside, and all these peons out here are in the line. So I'm. Do, do, do. <laughs> I, I wish I saw this. Dwayne oh, strutting. Shit, dude. Just out there. Do, 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 do. I right. am well rested. I didn't stay up all night working on my car. I said, screw it. I'll see oh. if my $200 gets me in early. And what happened when you yeah, saw Patrick uh, Long? Man. I'm trying to get the exact thing that he said. I'm trying to remember exactly what he said. Not but. many people get to meet their God. <laughs> He, he was Dwayne basically like is uh, face to face from the deity. He is there in front of 
the holiness <laughs> of holies. It may as well be the Pope. It is the prophet <laughs> himself with all his orange curliness is mm -hmm. before you yeah, just feet away within hands. He extended his, his hand with the did ring. Did it glow? I kissed it, the ring. You, ki you did. And you I, kissed the ring. I, well, I first the there ring. was like a guard. I was like, may I have a, a you know, a minute with Patrick? <laughs> no. Um, you had to go in a little I, room. I basically, I walked up to the gate. I saw it was Patrick. I was like, hey, uh, you know, I, have a, I had a feature car. Here's my ticket. Could I just walk in? He's like, no, you got to go in line. He's like, who the f are you? And I was like, and I was like, but he's like, yeah, sorry, or I don't remember exactly, but basically, the man was dealing with a lot of stuff. Okay, the god, oh, the god here himself. It comes. <laughs> here it comes the excuses. The fire marshal oh, was the fire standing marshal, right there, of course. and you Look. either drove your car in. By the way, unless you were Ben or Rami, you can mm -hmm. drive in no problem later. Mm -hmm. it's special privilege. With, yeah. Uh, with Rami also going on there. got cited no, we're not for talk driving about that. in We don't want to be associated with everybody. Him. We don't know him. <laughs> Just kidding. We love you, Rami. Uh, so yeah, I had to stand in line and. So wait a minute. Like the P. This is a <laughs> this is a huge facility. This is probably a two acre facility yeah. of of warehouses and hundreds of amazing Porsches on display. Some of them, most of them, curated. Every car hand selected by uh, the molested. orange orange curly haired <laughs> god and his uh, disciples of twelve. I'm sure. Um, <laughs> Uh, your car is one of those you yes, show up to line it was uh and he doesn't even he doesn't acknowledge you in any way <laughs> did he know who you were no uh, come on did he like oh oh yes Dwayne, hey, Dwayne. Wake from las vegas get over here, get over here. <laughs> oh man it's so cool i feel so bad that your partner <laughs> on dur or die is <laughs> such a dick the why? Well, well, I'm sorry that you had to go through that trouble. You had car you know, trouble. Why did you call me That is definitely the ego. Like you're actually thinking, like this. You know, this could have. This could play out in this way, right? You you nailed my ego for sure. Um, reality is, no, he has no fucking clue who who I am or why I'm standing. That there. is my whole point. These people don't care about us. <laughs> they well, don't no, no. care. Now, now, my my, I'm playing devil's advocate. Okay. Um, he presumably let, let's just throw out a scenario here. I don't know if it's true. Wait, hold on, hold on. No, 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 wait, no, let no, me no, finish. No, 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 hold on. Let me finish. We've got this two acre facility. Yeah. You show up, you've paid the $200. You, 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 you profess to your God that <laughs> look, my car broke down and you're, you're, you're waiting for some kind of like, it, I did say that. I think I was like, least, listen, man, my car hit a rock. Is it cool if I go in? He's yeah. like, no, you got to wait in line. So not only does he not acknowledge you. Yeah. He has zero, uh, he just, he doesn't care, right? There's no. He can't. At that moment, he cannot because Why he is not? dealing he's a with. a human being. Well, no, but was I mean. Was he worried about space listen, lasers? Remember? That's for Dwayne. That's for, uh, that's mental. for a mental. Yeah. yeah, sorry. Throwback to an earlier conversation. Yeah. Um, so remember when you did AutoFest? Yes. And you had 500 people asking you questions. Mm -hmm. Where do I go? What do I do with this? The golf carts are here. The food vendor, the performers are showing up. You have stuff going on. Yeah. Random dude walks up to you. Maybe you know him. Maybe you don't. They have a question. You're like, there's your answer. He begins Look. with bro, ends it with bro, <laughs> throws a couple bros in Did there. you start with bro? No, I'm not a bro. Bro, is bro part of your conversation, no. part of your vernacular. Okay. No. Um, but look, the man was busy. Let's just put it that way. This is before anyone was let in. Mm -hmm. um, the tail end of the cars had come through. He's closing the gate and all that. Um, also, he had a halo and he was glowing. And so I was like, you know, no, but I get I get what he was dealing with at that moment. So I didn't take it personal. Yeah. Would I would I have been like would I have preferred to have been like, oh, yeah, dude, come on in. I know you paid. You had a hard time. Like whatever happened. I'm sorry that happened. Come on in. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Um, that would have been my dream. Not my dream, but that would have been what I prefer. So as well but, as you know Patrick Long. <laughs> which is not at all, right? And as well as you know me. Yeah. Do you think there's any chance that I don't just like, just get in here. Just, just hurry up. I agree. You paid, I the you two, you, you paid 200 bucks to get Wait, in this so thing Wait, so a random guy that you don't know? Yeah. If okay. he's got, it'd be like, all right, you, you got your ticket? 
Oh, dude, that sucked. Carbrook, can you get, just fucking get. Just come on. Well, here's the no. pisser. Here's Walk the real pisser. All the way around the yeah, two yeah. acre facility. I waited for like 45 minutes. Because the minutes entrance was on the complete yeah. opposite I side, had right? To walk all literally around the block um, because I'm not special and I'm a loser. And a you paid $200 <laughs> to walk around the entire facility to walk into the yeah. dickhead entrance. Exactly. Um, now, here's the kicker. So later, um, Rami shows up. <laughs> and hold on. So if you guys haven't watched the Rami show, uh, when you're done watching this episode, make sure you go over to the Rami show YouTube channel and watch some episodes there. Uh, this is, we are recording this in the Rami studio. Mm -hmm. Uh, Rami is our good friend. Thank you, Rami. Partner. Uh, now I'm going to talk a bunch of trash. About yeah. He, uh, no. but he's all trash that he would agree. Usually he's part of our peanut gallery in the yeah. show. Um, but he see what you missed. Rami is one of the most positive. He is the most positive guy. Yes, he, he has a real. So on the last episode, outlook. we talked about how your car gave you such a hard time in the middle of LA mm -hmm. for four days. You came into town early, uh, and you wanted to get this car into Luft's Cult. This is something that you've been thinking about, dreaming about, preparing for for years, literally. Right. Not that's not an exaggeration. People. It's not. You know, um, but weird. I was proud of you because you did take on the Rami attitude which is just stay positive yeah thank you stay positive because yeah. that's what rami would do totally because the shit always just works out for that guy and and because of that outlook mm -hmm. it gains him access to places that us mere mortals don't don't get access to and we'll for find example, out what those what those things right. are right after you hit the subscribe like and notification button and then watch this message from one of our sponsors because they're awesome. Hey guys, I'm super excited to tell you about our sponsor, Guys Customs. That's guys, G-Y-X underscore customs. That's how you spell it, Guys Customs bracelets. These things are amazing, check them out. They're handmade in America, custom bracelets, made to match your watch or your car. These things are unbelievable. I have three or four of them myself. My partner, Michael Deeb, has a bunch of them. Uh, they're pretty addictive once you get one. Each one of them are bespoke. We're talking, uh, we're talking carbon fiber. We're talking titanium. We're talking stainless steel glass. There's none of this cheap Chinese garbage that you see a lot of bracelets being made out there. These ones are super high quality. They're made right here in America. When you go to Guys Customs on Instagram. It's about the only place that you can order one of these. Uh, when you DM the artist, you're actually reaching the real artist when you DM Guys Customs at Instagram. Uh, and she will make you a bracelet made to match that special watch that special car or that special person that has a special watch or a special car and they want something really, really cool uh, in their life. These are the, they make the most amazing gifts. Um, I get compliments on mine all the time, everywhere I go, people are like, wow, that's really cool. You can see in the pictures, uh, you know, these beads, the, the colored beads, are PTS, they're paint to sample. So if you have a specific color code for your car, she'll have beads made that are specifically painted to match your car or your watch. It's unbelievable. You gotta get one of these guys, customs, bracelets, check them out. They support us uh, and we really, really, really wanna support them. Guys, customs, bracelets. And welcome back to the Dirt or Die podcast, portion podcast. My name's Dwayne and I'm with uh, John Palnick once again. We're discussing Luft 8. Luft 8. And my failure to uh, shed the reject. Your words, not mine. Oh, wait, no, those are my words. A uh, lot of failure. Skin. Anyway, we're talking about yeah. Rami. Yeah. Oh, uh, Rami. Yeah. Rami uh, was able to come in late. Yeah, he got hammered the night before. He went out to some concert. I think it was, I don't know, it was oh. Kanye concert or something like that. No, no, he told me what it was. Um, uh, some big whatever. concert. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, but the fact that I couldn't walk in late, but then he was able to drive in late was kind of a pisser. <laughs> <laughs> so Rami. So Rami. So then yeah. I'm walking around with Rami. Well, and because... not only that, Patrick Long knew who he was. Oh, yeah. So Patrick Long knows Rami. Yeah. Because Rami's Rami. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
So, so Rami, Rami, what happened? Rami shows up or uh, late. Late gets right in, no problem. No, well, no, no, hold on. hold on. So, so Rami oh, showed up we late. Shouldn't, we shouldn't talk about that. Patrick says, "Hey, I don't want to be associated with that." Patrick la, 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 la. says, "Hey, hey, uh, just come back in a minute because the the fire marshal's here." So Rami's like, "Okay." He goes, drives around, does some burnouts, come back, comes back, and and Patrick is like, "Rami, you're like the fastest guy in the parking lot. Get in here, just get in here." He's yeah. the last car in the show. He's yeah. like right by the gate, which right. is actually the most awesome place to be because as soon as it's out. over, you could freaking yeah. leave, right? So Rami. Yeah, oh, that's privilege right there. <laughs> <laughs> so if you saw the mint green metallic turbo yeah, 911 ice cream, ice cream metallic, metallic, sorry. Yeah. Uh that so. not the not not the uh singer one, but mm-hmm. the actual factory one uh, right by the gate that was Rami's car. Yeah. I so wonder where they would have put his car if he had, ha- if he had gone time. there on time, yeah. Yeah. Cuz he texted me early in the morning Patrick Long is pissed at me cuz we were at the <laughs> at the crappy house uh mental and the rest of our crew mm-hmm. uh were there and uh John Ortiz and all of their friends are like dude even if you have early tickets do not come down here it's a it's a, a show yeah it was worse than getting into Vegas Auto Fest from what the I heard it was one of those lines that was like kind of ambiguous as yeah. to where it's going and it's just wrapping around so you're like and it's not moving so you're yeah, like am that's I the worst yeah so early early admission started at what like seven or eight or something like I that. I think uh, cars got in at seven, and then early admission was probably eight. Yeah. So I had and a then, regular admission ticket, and I like took my time because I always do because I'm late anyway. Yeah. Uh, and that was one of those things where procrastinators win. I mean, like I rolled into Long Beach. I didn't even go to the show. I went. To, I found some coffee shop, like a few blocks away. Went to the coffee shop, found a parking spot right in front of the coffee shop. Went in. Got my latte, got back in the Macan. That's awesome. Just like tootled on over, roll. I mean, it was like so easy. I just rolled into Porsche parking <laughs> and just found a spot. And then like all my friends are in the parking area. And I was like, oh, this is, it was such That's an way to easy, do it. that parking lot experience for someone who's never been. Oh, the parking lot Oh my lot God, was ridiculous. The, that was the, yeah. that was a better car that show. That was a Porsche show yeah. in and of itself. Yeah. yeah. And chef got recognized four times trying to walk across the parking lot. It was, that was just fantastic. From what? From being chef. <laughs> just like chef or being, or from being in the, like the peanut gallery. Chef. Wow. Hmm. Chef doesn't even have a podcast and he's being recognized. I think, but he's got a posse. I think we yeah. he does have a posse. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> chef posse. Uh, but yeah, I'm walking with Rami mm-hmm. and uh, Matt Miller and there's Patrick. And Rami walks right up to him and is like, hey, blah, blah, blah. Did he hug him? He probably hugged him. Something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, (laughs) And I was like, you let this guy in, but you wouldn't let me in. That's what I said. (laughs) And Patrick's like, well, you told me. Who the hell are you? No, he remembered. He's like, he told me you hit a rock. And I was like, yeah. And he's like, and that was it. So. He knew you hit a rock. Holy cow! <laughs> That's Dwayne oh, Redemption. I, Patrick Long knew I hit a rock. My life is being I, something I'm now. now going to. I'll put that on the little closet <laughs> idol thing that I have. Yes. You open up my closet. Yes. And I've got like, Patrick. I've Long got the rock I that rock. I ran into. That I'm, I'm shocked you didn't a little, keep the like, rock. <laughs> you just find some other rock and just put it. That in the rock deserved to like be that. tossed over Angeles Crest oh, yeah. Highway. You know, speaking of things that were tossed over the edge, uh, the Porsche, uh, Ben, the professor, does a professor run every year, uh, the Saturday before Loops Cult. And one of the greatest moments of the entire weekend, hands down, was the first neck of the uh of the of the professor run. the professor run is basically uh you get 50 or 60 porsche enthusiasts it's actually car agnostic but it winds up being mostly porsches Mm -hmm. um 50 or 60 car enthusiasts mostly porsches show up somewhere uh and uh, ben hands a a, a map basically uh and we do 50 or 60 miles through the most amazing roads and i heard that he actually He's the last one. I always thought. Yeah, that he, he always led brings the, up the rear. The yeah, no, he brings up the rear. Mm-hmm. Just make sure he he, uh, he captains the drive. Yeah, gotcha. Um, to make sure there's no stragglers. So you get all these enthusiasts together. Uh, it's one of these. The, the, God, the, it's crazy because it's not like here's the map go on the run. It's like uh, the way he does it is it's it's miles that are cumulative. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, is that the way you, you were say close it? on that cum- yeah, cumulative? I can't, I can't pronounce cumulative. that word. Um, so at you have to reset your Od- your trip meter. You get to ten miles. You turn. ten miles take a right at road X. Fifty two miles take a left on road Y. 72 miles take a right on road whatever which is so, a nightmare for air cooled porsches because is. you can't reset that while you're in motion yeah. or else you could break that little plastic gear, every right? 993 every 964 that shit will break for sure if you try mm-hmm. to break which the was part of his briefing he said do oh, really? not reset it while you're moving yeah 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 that's a that's a classic and i uh, will submit that that those things will break when you're not moving yeah they're when the brittle. car is just sitting there i would never whenever i let someone get into one of my 993s or 964s i said do not touch don't, don't touch, touch that one button. Right? That's the one thing you don't touch. Um, and my thigh. Yeah. It, well, makes me I mean, drive I'm faster. All for that. That, that, that's, that's the best part. So, you know, uh, so, but it's just great drive through these roads that, that only Ben knows. Uh, they're super twisty, super twist. So we, we get on the first leg of this road uh, and it's just like a, I don't even know where the heck it was. It was up this Canyon road. It's just full lock to full lock for like 30 miles. I mean, awesome. it is like, Oh, oh, man. You were you have Don't to tell pay me, attention because I I wanted rock to do that road, rock wall on one side cliff on the other mm. and at some point there's a couple bicyclists on this road he's like why would a bicyclist be on this road there's no turn whatever so mm. we get to the first kind of Jerusalem like turn Cole. off and I'm in a Macan right and I'm following like GT3s and all this stuff and I'm right up there I'm just like ah, I don't care nah, who cares it was so easy it was great that car is so good uh, so we get to the first stop. And then cars start showing up and we're all hanging out. It's like this impromptu car show in the middle of nowhere on some road. And Rami shows up. And of course, Rami is Rami. He's, blah, blah, blah. He's laughing about something. And there's this guy in like a ghost gray Ferrari? wide body nope. uh, 911, air cooled 911. Kind of an mm. RSR type of car. Not really, but it's it's kind mm. of like a chalk gray, whatever. Um and he's this guy couldn't be more LA, right? He's got the hoodie that kind of like looks like he's in one of those. What's the video game where the guy wears the hood and GTA? No, oh, not GTA. Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed. He looks like Assassin's Creed, an, he yeah. like he looks like Assassin's Creed, mm-hmm. right? He's got that that hoodie on. Gotcha. And he's with his girlfriend. It's like what? I, okay. So I go up to the guy and I'm kind of like whatever, uh, but he's like, oh man, that was crazy. I threw a guy's bicycle over the over the what? edge. I'm like, wait, what? Is what? Apparently, when he came around the corner, some guy on a bicycle threw a rock at his car, and he showed me the nick in his car. He stops the car. He gets out. This guy's wearing all black. He's got his Assassin's Creed outfit on. He goes <laughs> up to the guy. It turns out this Damn. guy happens to be like an accomplished Muay Thai bicycle or rider. Oh. He is a bicycle champion of some sort. The guy in the Porsche. The guy in the Porsche. The guy driving the Porsche. Is a bicyclist as well as a Porsche okay. enthusiast. Okay. So and I'm thinking he's a bicyclist in the right. throws a rock at his car. So he stops his car, gets out, confronts the bicyclist, shoves the bicyclist, takes his bike, his light speed, and throws it down the down the gulch. Awesome. Fucking legend. I'm sorry, we're not supposed to swear on my on, on our show. But this guy is a hero, that's, right? That's amazing. If, if someone said on the professor run, a guy wearing all black mm-hmm. s- took some dude's bicycle and threw it down the down the gulch, <laughs> down the canyon, of course that's Rami, right? Yeah. No, it was this guy. It was, it was Assassin's Creed guy. Assassin's Creed guy. guy, if you're out there, uh, leave a comment. This is for you, <laughs> yeah. Assassin's Creed guy. Cheers. Well, I mean, you are look, effing legend. We're not against bike people. Like... Okay, no, I'm not the, against bike. But that's the, like, that's what I, I said. So we had lunch <clears throat> later and we're like, I'm like, hey, did you hear the F1 is coming to Las Vegas? It was like, oh yeah, that's really exciting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm like, also, did you hear that they're allowing bicyclists, bicyclists to ride on the hot track? Oh, they are? Yeah. Oh, Isn't that's that amazing? Cool. That's so you awesome. can you can ride your bicycle while F1 drivers are racing their cars. No, not while. No, yeah, while. What? What are you talking about? That's what they're doing. If you were a bicyclist and you heard this, would you ride your bicycle on a hot track while F1 drivers were driving no, around? No. Of, of course, course not. not. Of course not. Of course not. I, I get what so you're So why would down. you ride your bicycle on a twisty road on a Saturday? Mm-hmm. I we're, get that were you- Were we talking about Rami at Luftgeld? No, 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 no. I got to finish this <laughs> point. I got to finish my rant. So, I get but, that you have a right to be there. I get yeah. this whole share of the road. But in this situation, you're in the right. 
mm-hmm. if you're on your bicycle, right? And some guy in a car passes you too closely or did you Did like the fall first over. 20 people pass him too closely or yeah, exactly. something like that? And yeah. then he decides to get over and throw a rock at the guy, at the, the last, last guy, guy. Right? Yep. It's, he it's picked like, the wrong it, He picked the wrong guy. Because in this situation, it's like, look, you're right, but you're dead. I'm wrong and my car is dented. I don't understand this logic. Right. It's like, look, if you're a bicyclist, you are in so much peril being on a road like that. And I get that drivers are a bunch of a-holes, especially a bunch of Porsche they guys. Are. Why would you put yourself at that kind of risk? You wouldn't go out in the middle of I mean, a hot racetrack. But he didn't racetrack. know that there was going to be the professor run. Every weekend, D-bags in sports cars yeah, that's rip true. up those Up roads, and down that especially road. Especially in California. Yeah, Anywhere in true. California. It's in Northern California. So, it's but, just so he's not going to bike? He's got to give up biking? Yeah. Well, I mean, he's got to find places that are safer to do it, or he can be in the right and be dead. Or... That's Olympic true. For the yeah. rest of his life. I mean, it just sucks. One I mean, I, really, it sucks for him. Okay, whatever. I get that he's in the right, but he's the one that whose bike is now at the bottom of a ravine somewhere, you know, which I love. You can spend like $30,000 on a bike now? On a bicycle, yeah. yeah. I, it's I, really I, I do not have a $30,000 bike. I, I have... Bicycle. What was it expensive? Are we talking about bikes or We're bicycles? Bicycle. Those are two different things. Bicycle. Bicycles. Thank you. I was hit two weeks ago. Twisted my front wheel. Was the guy wearing a black hoodie? No, 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 okay. no. But Assassin's I, a, a Creed Toyota hit you Camry, too? A Toyota Camry hit my bicycle. Uh, twisted Toyota my Camry. wheel. There's the problem right there. Yeah, seriously. Never <clears throat> threw a rock at it. That's where he went wrong. He threw a rock. <laughs> he should have just taken his beat and like a normal yeah. Bicy- yeah. bicyclist. Yeah. Bicyclist. So that if was a professor the rock. The guy would have just waved him off and gone up the hill and yeah. everybody would have been fine. Yeah, you I mean, know, this whole thing would have been the... over. I mean, I'm sure that guy's bicycle was at least a $10,000 bicycle. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, he had the whole outfit and the helmet and the right. tight pants and the... Oh, I bet he did. All the yeah. stuff. And dude threw it down the thing. <laughs> and the great thing was, he's like, uh, I don't know, I shouldn't have done that. He took pictures of my car and stuff like that. I'm like, what are you talking about? We have 60 witnesses that said a guy him. in a Subaru threw some dude's bicycle down a ravine. <laughs> The we got professor run is always eventful, um, yeah, usually really in, in a positive way, mostly yeah. in a positive yeah. way. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And this and one, was, a, this one on was the same. I mean, it really was a wonderful day, uh, and it is a bummer that that particular thing happened. Uh, but other than that one incident, it really was uh, fantastic. There were no yeah. accidents. There were no crashes. Everyone was driving, uh, just having just a fantastic day in the mountains. Did, um did Highlights it, included being behind Rami's 930 belching fire. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And Flames. also when uh, Michael Deeb, who just bought his new 914.6. From David yeah, Keynes. David Keynes. Yeah. At uh, the end of the day, decided that his kidneys had had enough. <laughs> that climbed into rough. your Macan and gave me the keys. It was great. Yeah. What did you, what did you think thing. of uh, the David Keynes built 914.6 that uh, is now my partner, Michael Deeb from Bid Nerds uh, car? What did, you, what did you think? What was your it's impression of that ride. car? That's what I'm trying to build right now. Yeah. So, I mean, I, it looks so I, like I, a solid I, driver. I had ridden with him to meet everybody for coffee the, the first day when we, we met Ben before we even did the professor run the day before. In the and 914? Yes. Yeah, I don't know okay. if mm. there are is enough adjectives to describe or describe how tight that suspension is. He had all of us out there pushing. Yeah, he, he yeah. definitely wanted to point it out. He's like, press on this, Dwayne. Dude, and there was I did. no compliance. No, it was just it was like stiff. There, was, there was none. But God, what it personality the car has. Probably like just mad. The, the car just, you immediately fall in love with it. It's a Labrador puppy that is going to destroy all of your pillows and you're just <laughs> not going to care. It was... Yeah. And I was on the freeway with Chef and his GT2 and Jason and GT3, his but yeah. And we just had a great time. I'm sorry, GT3. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. RS. Was there anything at Loof that, that really kind of stood out for you? I mean, I don't, honestly, I don't pay attention to the cars. Yeah. Um, I'm just. Well, that was something that I did. Like the first hour, mm-hmm. I'm looking down, I'm looking at all the cars. And then after that, I started to look up. And yeah. look at people's faces and be like, you know, who here do I know online that I've never met in, in real life? Sure yeah. enough, shout out to Mark and his son. I think uh, Ben had an awesome 914. Um, was it Ethan with the 912 or Evan? I'm not sure who you're talking Young about. Young kid. 
with Evan uh, Cry. Oh, Evan. Evan. Yeah, yeah, that guy yeah. was great with all the beer Love cans. That car. Yeah, <laughs> yeah oh, man. it was great. Yeah, he tied one on at the show. It was like 9 a.m. and he had yeah, he had that was a, great. All well, the horse cans. Yeah, um, but he's a he's a. I mean, he drove the crap out of that yeah, car. Yeah, he did. Which is cool. So, yeah, I mean, I, I know what you're saying. It's like you... I mean, you can't go 10 feet. I mean, Ben, the professor, he, he's always like, how you doing? You know, when you see him, he's like, how many words are you at? I think I'm at like 6,000. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, it's just like you can't... If, if you're... If you have any sense of this community, if you're any part of it, you cannot go 10 feet without running into someone that is like a long lost best friend. It's like, oh my God, I, yeah. blah, blah, blah. it's like, it, so I, I, I wish I could go back and do the whole show again and just look at the cars. There, there just wasn't enough. All, you, you, and that's the I thing, only like, care about the people really. I mean, yeah. the cars are like, whatever. I just, there's a million cars out there that I'd like to own or that I, that I want to get inspired from. And, and, you know, and, and you future walk projects right and by stuff. a 916 yeah. and a 959 and, the 914 GT. Oh, the 959. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you walk right by these cars. You're like, I don't have time to sit here and you know, you know, yeah. get the fine details yeah, because yeah, I mean, there's, there's, there's more like to see. Every single car is a car that you could spend a whole afternoon just the going. The singers wow, really cool. and yeah. like the Gunther works and Gunther, stuff. Yeah, I mean, there's crazy, crazy cars. Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know. One of the highlights, uh, Sean Teague from uh, the, you know, Steve. Uh, McQueen Foundation oh, down yeah, there, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. he was hanging out in the VIP section. He's like, "Hey, come on in, hang out," you know. Mm. And we're like, "Oh, okay." I think, I think, Mental, did you steal my Luft Eight uh, VIP shirt? I think you did. You probably look better in it than I do. I um, have no I, recollection. Of he has no recollection. Of I that. see this dude yeah. with like the loudest shirt you've ever seen. Um, yeah. Younger guy holding three beers like this, <laughs> and he's just like he's kind of got this smile on his face. And I'm yeah. like, "Hey, uh, can I take a picture of you?" He's like, "Sure." I'm framing it up, and like his girlfriend's standing behind me. She's like, "He's the oil stain lab guy." I was like, "What?" He's the oil stain lab, like one of the brothers. And I was like, "It was so cool to put a face to a name." Yeah. And like some, I followed their build. They they're building this ridiculous, custom built. It looks like a kind of a a hand built Porsche, but with mm-hmm. a V8 engine in it. It's like mm-hmm. a race car basically. And uh, so it was stuff like that. Yeah. So just like meeting. Well, yeah, I mean, that's the thing. It's like, there's so many people that you want to meet. There's so many people that you've never met. There's so mm-hmm. many people that you want to reconnect with. And it's like, you, it's like, okay, I can give this person a couple minutes. I can give this person a couple minutes. You're just having that experience. And that's really what Luft is about. It's just reconnecting also with all these people, people that you know, that see you and then just walk right on by. Yeah, I mean, how many times did you have you seen like? Uh, uh, well, I mean, Patrick Long doesn't give a shit about any of us, um, but you know, then you see someone online, and you're like, oh crap, that person was there, that person was there, and I didn't yeah. even see him. I don't know, like, I, <laughs> you've got guys, and of course, there was like, you know, Matt Farah and Spike first and stuff I didn't like see that. Any of the guys. famous people? Yeah, like, I, they were doing their podcast. I don't know what happened to Matt Farah. I mean, what has happened with Matt Farah? Look, I'm gonna just he's say, going, it. Matt Farah, what the hell, dude? He's going he used like to, he used to dress like he was yeah, he's going uh, like backwoods, like with a plaid and like. Well, the, he was a backup singer to like Lincoln Park, and now he looks hmm. like a New Jersey Jew that that can't afford to move to you know Florida or something like that. I don't know what his deal is. Like, what happened to Matt Farah? What is going on with that guy? I don't know. I, every show I he used to go the, to him, he was podcast, like super so. high. So, I, but now he's <laughs> like super not high now i don't him and ferris again i haven't watched the the show but yeah yeah these guys are these guys anyway i see a clip every once in a while yeah were you guys at luft cult luft eight did you see us did you see people Mm -hmm. how come you didn't say hello thanks a lot thanks for nothing actually i will say Uh, hold on a second there because yeah we were waiting on lunch and it took you 15 minutes to like get to our table because 14 people stopped you on your No, way I, I, I kid because there were, so, get, look, I I'll, tell, I'll tell you our Luft's called episode mm-hmm. where you and I went back and forth. Uh, that was a popular episode. Yeah. It was good it's, timing. It's not like we had thousands of people watch that episode, but no. it seems like every single person that did was there. Yeah. I had a couple <laughs> of people wanted, come up to me and like, they were all on team Dwayne. They were all on well, team you Dwayne. Know, I, didn't I mean, let's say face anything, it. But, I'm a dick. You know. And uh, Dwayne is just a likable character on this show. Yeah. 
I'm an asshole, but I'm right. So I'll live with that. Uh, there it is, guys. We really appreciate you guys watching the show. We appreciate you saying hello at things like Loof to Cult and out there. Uh, but we want you to come to Las Vegas. Come to Vegas Auto Fest next year. Come to SEMA. Uh, come to our creative creator party. It's going to be awesome on November 1st. Um, and uh, we love doing the show. We're going to do it a couple times a week, every week. Yeah, uh, We did miss a couple of weeks, so we apologize for that. But I think you all know why We're back happened. on track. We're back mm-hmm. on, uh, you know, we, things we are buried turned the back on. Yep. Let the handle stick it yeah, out. Yeah, and here we are. So uh, hit the subscribe, like, and notification button if you haven't already. Mm-hmm. Share this episode or one of your favorite episodes to a friend. Let them know that the Dur or Die podcast happens twice a week. Uh, we're, I, I don't know if Tuesday and Friday makes the most sense or Tuesday and Thursday. Yeah. There's the algorithm there's the you know the gestative i don't know we'll figure all that stuff out but we're gonna go to a couple times a week the one way or the other we'll be doing some experimenting but make sure you hit the subscribe and like button that really helps us out yeah that way you know when it when it drops that's true yeah uh and then while you're at it uh hit the uh go ahead and check out the rami show on youtube subscribe to that hit uh check out derfoss nation uh, check out uh, Everyone Racers. That's a yep. Mentals podcast. And thank you to uh, Mentals again week. for, Thanks, for Mentals being for our being uh, yeah. guy tonight. Dealing with uh, all our BS. Uh, and um, yeah, we, uh, we love you guys. Thanks for watching the show. Anything else you want to say before nope. we get out of here? Nope. See you next time. All right. That's another episode, guys. Shout out to all our friends. I wish Three Pedal Posse, Ben the Professor, uh, Charles Stanley. All, just, man, I, there's just no possible way. Mm -hmm. We can shout out all the people. There's too many. Thanks, guys. See you next time. End the show.